Hi everyone, this is Frank Tomorrow with the End Times Research Ministry. And you see there me witnessing. Um, and that's a big part of my life. I do it just about every day when I'm out of the house and out of the office here. Uh, working for the Lord because of the joy of the Lord. He's just placed it in my heart to try to reach out to as many people as possible. This includes feeding the poor, clothing the poor, making sure that they have up-to-date information about these last days and the precious Bible in their hands. I'm doing whatever I can. Now, yesterday I talked a little bit about quitting posting here at the End Times Research Ministry because I was really frustrated about not having the ability or enough time or mainly the resources to be able to do the work that I really wanted to do, and that was feed the kids, take care of ministry needs that the Lord wanted us to do. And that definitely includes making sure that the people have the Bible in their hands, making sure that they have food, making sure that they have medical, whatever we can do. The things that the Lord would do, I want to do in this ministry. And the sent ministry wants to do those same things. And so after I posted yesterday on my video, if you go to June 4th of 2013 and you see that video there, you'll see that I was thinking about quitting. Well, after the outpouring that I got yesterday of people, you know, letter after letter, people willing to just asking me, please don't stop, uh, the ministry means too much to them, I was really blown away by it. I also received many emails uh, that were headed towards Ascent Ministry saying that they wanted to send funds to Ascent Ministry uh, in regards to the people that I was supporting and how Ascent Ministry was sending their funds over to those people that I was trying to help, which is a complete blessing. And so I just wanted to assure everybody that because of the signs that I'm getting from the Lord and the outpouring of from the people, that this ministry is going to continue to go until the Lord actually pulls the plug on it. Now, whatever time that I have left, I'm going to do as much work as possible, and I know that resources are a, uh, a major concern. But I've never asked anybody for anything. Everybody that gets everything from me is for free. The books are free. The tapes are free. The Bibles are free. The food is free. And all I do is, again, tell the people of the need. And once that it stops, then I know that the Lord uh, wants me to stop the ministry. But thank God for people who have answered the call, and it is truly a blessing. Now getting on to today's news, I wanted to show the people that today, again, we're dealing with uh, the issue of peace and safety. Uh, peace and safety is a major prophecy of the last days, and all of this information, if you just found my site, this information is in my book, and the latest book now is June 3rd of 2013. I keep this book up to date as much as possible. And so there is uh, a major concern in relation to Bible prophecy about the call for peace and safety. Now, knowing that, I want to bring you over to an article uh, today that came out. I made a video about it, and you'll see that video at my site. It's the first video that you're going to, uh, to see. Now, here's the video that I was telling you about, and it is, it's posted. You'll be able to just click on this, and you'll see what I said about the peace and the safety call. And of course, there's the scripture. And I'm saying this primarily for the new people that just found my website because the Lord is blessing and he's bringing people to the website and people are, uh, uh, are being encouraged to read the scriptures and to keep on the watch as the Lord had uh, told us to do. So with that, I just wanted to also mention that when you go below, uh, you're going to find out a complete list 
since 2009 that I have of all the animals, the birds and the fish that have been dying. Now here are the prophecies that you'll be able to read these prophecies. You'll see Hosanna in the Ezekiel and Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 3 about the birds and the animals and uh, the fish that will be dying in the end of the days. I mean, end times, all right? So, when for those people who have seen the list, let me just say this. You just scroll down. You'll see that there's page after page after page. This takes a lot of time to put and, and to search all these things out and to keep them up to date. But if you keep scrolling down, uh, you'll see the latest dates. Now, for time's sake, let me scroll all the way down. You'll see all of the different, we're in 2011. Uh, and for the people who have seen the list, I don't make, mean to make anybody dizzy here, but obviously there's a lot of information. Uh, we're into January now, and let's go all the way down to the end, February. Now, here's the last date that I had. I believe it was the 26th, and I gave you information now starting. These are all the new cases uh, or reports reported about the fish, animals, and the birds that are dying. You'll see there's 27th, 28th, 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 uh, the 29th, 30th, all the way to June 3rd. There were two of them already this month. Now, I have the links there. All you have to do is... Some of these links have uh, worked and some of them don't, but what you can do is just copy and paste those links if you want for those new items starting from the 27th right here. And I'll try to fix these other links that aren't working. But uh, if you don't, just, uh, just highlight them, copy and paste it, and you'll go right to the article. Now, if you don't want to do that, then let me just bring you to, I'll show you some of these articles that came out as soon as it loads up. Now here's the first one. Some of them are from another nation, so they're, they're going to be translated. But when you get to the, this one happens to be in China, where there's all kinds of fish that were dying in China. So it's going to be hard to see because they have a different way of uh, translating and it's tough to see. So let me move on to that one. We'll go to the next one. Uh, you'll see the news here on the 28th. And this had to do with Nepal. And there was a countless number of birds that have, are being destroyed because of this avian influenza flu, the, uh, the flu, influenza, that are killing off uh, these birds. So let me go on. You'll be able to read all of this. I'm just bringing this to your attention. Now, in Arundacoit Bay, and this is in uh, actually in Rochester, New York, It'll take a second to come up, but you'll see it here. Rondecoy Bay fish die off caused by disease. And here's a, you can get a good look at these, these birds, or the, excuse me, these fish that are dying off here in, in Rondecoy Bay. So we have this kind of, take a look at all the fish. It's a large number of fish have been found floating dead over the past three days in the Asanya River in the in the city so this is an article that was again may 28th and you see the large numbers the lord warned that we're supposed to be looking for this gold coals council says botulism killed sources of birds there are a lot of different reasons why uh, or methods, if you will, that are taking out the fish, the birds, and the uh, animals. And uh, disease is uh, very prevalent in uh, that are wiping out fish and birds. And, of course, there are other factors such as the temperatures getting a lot warmer, a lot harder, hotter, if you will, and it's causing the waters to warm up, it's taking the oxygen out, and it's killing thousands, in many cases, millions of fish in different places around the world. 
But I just wanted to show you some of the reports. You'll have time to go, obviously, at your own discretion. Here's another one from China. Just take a second to load. China floods leave thousands in distress, over 1,300 livestock killed. Like I said, there are a lot of uh, reasons or uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, things that are taking place that are causing deaths and flooding. Uh, obviously, not only does it uh, have an effect on human beings, it's have an effect on the animals as well. In this case, there was 1,300 of the livestock that were killed. Let me go back to this next one. It'll take a second to come up. Here it comes. Millions of shrimp die. More than 2.6 million shrimps are reported to have died due to attack of white spot syndrome virus since early this month. Okay, so here we go. Another another form of disease that are wiping out uh, another uh, species of uh, water prey, if you will. Let me go back to the site. There's another one. Make this a little bit bigger for you so you can see it a little bit bigger. Dutch authorities call poultry after avian influenza outbreak. Take a look at this. You have 11,000 chickens at the farms in the Netherlands after an outbreak of the mild form of influenza flu. I mean, if it's mild and they took out 11,000 chickens, I can imagine what a not so mild uh, problem would be. But this was June 1st of 2013. Now again, this is another one. We see that this is a translation. This is a translation from uh, Japan, or, uh, China. It says that uh, these are fish that were killed. I reviewed the article, but there's fish that were killed, uh, 40,000 of them. You'll see when you get to the site, you'll scroll down and give you some information there. But it's so small, it's hard to see. So I just wanted to tell you what was happening here. There's another one uh, for translation of it. And, of course, uh, they're talking about fish that are being killed off. Uh, 300 acres of fish ponds in the water full of shining white dead fish floating. I'll let you go and read that at your own discretion as well. All right, so that was it. That was the last one uh, where we saw 30,000 fish die there. China has been hit hard lately. You see 40,000 here, 30,000 there. So that's the new section that I just put in my book for everybody to get. And, of course, you can get it for free. Now, there's going to be some other news today. For those people that are brand new to my site, when you see this little face here, the End Times Research Ministry and You'll see the uh, message below it coming shortly today. There'll be some other news that I will be posting in about a half an hour or so. So just wanted to keep you all informed. Again, thank you for coming to the End Times Research Ministry. Uh, I'll do my best to give you up-to-date information, connecting the dots between Bible prophecy and current events. And again, Check out my book. You can get it today for free. Just go to my link. Click the link right there, and you can download the book today for free. God bless you all. Talk to you soon.